All right, Media Maker back. Um, deep water versus the uh, sub irrigation tomato plant, brandy wine. Um, right after the other video, I started trimming this plant back a little bit, and I'll be trimming back a little bit more. And it's going to be having a new home after this video sometime this week. And it was uh, it's a pretty good experiment. It's pretty well impressed. It's my real first hydroponic application and uh, I'll cut away here in a little bit and I'm going to show you the roots but uh, at width it got leaf to leaf uh, and this was planted January 1st as a seed and as of the end of January it was at 18 inches across and might have grew out a little bit more I've trimmed off a little bit after the last video it was getting a little out of hand and uh, trimmed off the top and I've got a lot of new growth as you can see uh, let's see if we can make it out see there and um, me saying and uh over and over but uh, it's doing pretty good and in just a moment I'll give you a cutaway shot of the roots I've got the air turned off uh, because it's very noisy so bear with me I'll be back okay. in just a second. Uh, let's see if we can't get a root shot with one hand alright there's the roots now something interesting, I've never read about it, never seen it, never heard mention of it, but the air stone comes down through and aerates down in the water. If you notice something, all the roots are hanging out towards the right side. And a lot of root growth came out where the stone is, not as much over here. And you also notice all the root structure up here. So uh, one other thing I noticed is that uh, supposedly you can't let light get to the roots well this one's had light getting to the roots right there and I'm wondering if it's not because this is a, a green container that that's the reason nothing bad happened to the roots and it didn't get algae on them because supposedly that's when they get algae wet item uh, exposed light is going to have algae so that was kind of interesting so but uh, she's going to have a new home, and I'll show you here in a moment what that's going to look like. I had to adapt it uh, just because it's in a two-liter bottle. And with all the roots, I can't really rip them out. So I'll show you that okay, in a moment. Okay, the uh, hydroponic deep water culture tomatoes new home will be a five-gallon bucket. And we're all familiar with five-gallon buckets, so I think we can dispense of that. And I've had to do a little bit of adaption. So what I've decided to do is since that's its present home in the other bottle, uh, this is just uh, mocked up of course, this one I'm going to try to trim it down to about here. And what I've done is done is taken a neti pot and trimmed out the center to where it will fit in. As you can see, that's what we have, hopefully straightened up. That will fit inside of the lid, which I've cut, and that's going to be its new home. And it gives a lot more space. I can add a bunch of uh, hydrogen and a lot more nutrient water. And I also have a heater to put in with it to keep it at 75 degrees. So hopefully that will be a very happy new home. And I just have to rig up some lighting to make it happy. And uh, so I've got three big plants to keep lit. So tune in when that's done. I'll give you an update and show you how that's working out. Now to finish off the uh, bottom irrigation version of the same plant. It didn't get quite as big. I've trimmed it back a little bit, as you can tell. It was getting a little out of hand. The, the end leaves after the center growth, the new growth started coming in. After I pinched off the top, started getting a little uh, ragged around the edges. So as more growth comes in, if anything else gets ragged, I'll trim her down and put her down to a small bush and let it grow out again. And it as well is going to go into, uh, like in my other video, on my deep water culture with my uh, first tomato. This one will also go in a smart pot and be placed next to it under a lot of light. So. Uh, this will be the last video for this. I'll do like an update, general update, and probably include it in the smart pot and show you how it's doing. Never used the smart pot, but I've heard good things about it, but you don't see a whole lot 
online if you look at it so Aeropots and a couple other ones you know come to mind but pretty much I don't see much of anything so this is the last time you'll see this particular plant and this particular pot it was enjoyable but uh, it's time to move on with it